Well, we told you it was Mother's Week. So all week long, we are celebrating mother, daughter, and family businesses in general. Plus, we will share great places to get last minute and meaningful gifts uh, now until Sunday. And of course, each day we will be giving out local gift cards to two lucky moms that were nominated by you. We'll share their story on air and we'll surprise them with these giveaways. But first, let's head on over to G Farms because they're helping us celebrate these moms right here in mid-Michigan. Here on Studio 10, we don't celebrate Mother's Day. We celebrate Mother's Week. And that's why we want to celebrate our celebration of mothers and motherly figures in our lives right here in Stockbridge at G Farms. Because we have not our complete family, but a big part of the family here at G Farms. We're looking at a mom and daughters minus one, right? Yep. Yes. yes, and this is family is like the background of the foundation here, the farm here. Uh, talk a little bit about how long you guys have been around. We're looking at fifth generation and sixth generation. And um, seventh generation is eight, nine years old. So uh -huh. she comes in and helps sometimes too. Um, we, our original family came here in 1849 and established our homestead. And then um, it has been all males. There's always been a male mm -hmm. uh, to take over each generation, except for this generation. And my father got four daughters. Woo so, <laughs> <laughs> power! <laughs> yeah, so um, we, uh, family's very important to us uh, most of the time. We eat together four or five nights a week with all of our family. Um, we're very close. Um, it's family is very important to us. Yeah. That's beautiful, and you can definitely see that. And especially since you have the matriarch of the family standing right here. <laughs> uh, but can you tell me what's been some of the important lessons that your mom has instilled in you growing up? My mother has been instilled business values, family values, um, how we should stand up for each other, take care of each other. Um, she's she's the matriarch. So, you know, you mentioned that you guys work and eat together, and we've mentioned the good things that it's like to uh, work with family, but, you know, do you do you guys put each other in your place once in a while, or uh, what, tell me a little bit of what is it like to work with family? Well, my, our mother puts us in our place quite okay. often. Yeah, there we go. Don't mess with this one. Um, <laughs> But no, I, I think that overall we get along great as a family. Um, number three sister is not here today. Um, she should be retiring soon. And we're hoping that she joins us back here on the farm when she does. Mm -hmm. We actually all get along great. It, then the really nice thing about it is when you have rough days, mm -hmm. we all kind of had a rough day so we can all vent mm -hmm. and kind of just get over it and laugh about it and, and move on. If one of us has a bad day, the other ones are here to, you know, rise us up and come on, it's all right, forget about that, don't worry about that, move on, it's yeah. not important. Yeah. That's beautiful, especially when you said, you know, you have your family, your mother, your sisters to lean on when you're having a bad day. But like you said, you guys have been around since 1849. What's been one of the keys, outside of family, of course, but that made sure that your, your business has been able to be so successful and grow throughout those decades? I would say you have to have positive thoughts and never give up because there's a lot of yeah. bad days. Having a business isn't for sissies. Yeah, mm. it's not. It's not. It's hard work. And luckily, our parents instilled hard work and the work ethics into us. Of course, our greatest assets are our employees. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of mothers. Um, we have lots of aunts who, you know, they need to be it recognized too, yeah. even though some of them aren't mothers. And of course, you know, we're on the cusp of Mother's Day and Mother's Week that we're celebrating here on Studio 10. Uh, so, you know, one last thing before we get into all the ways that we can treat our mom, um, but you know, why is it important that we give that recognition, not only to our moms, but our motherly figures, our aunts, the, the women in our family around this time? Well, because your mother will be there for you no matter what. Uh, I had an employee once told me, he was a young man, not, and he was a big man. He says, I love my mother because she will always bail me out of jail and wash my drawers. <laughs> and it was just classic and it's true. Mothers uh, have unconditional love. They, they, yeah. it, and it doesn't matter if you're a biological mother, an adopted mother, or how about if you're a mother father, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, yeah. dads, there's a lot of dads out there who are mothers. Yeah. So yeah. 
And that's yeah. so beautiful. And you can feel that family dynamic. And I love how you said, Mom, you didn't raise any sissies. <laughs> uh, but we're going to show that unconditional love that you can actually find a gift here, right here at G Farm. So when we come back after commercial break, we'll show you how you can express that unconditional love uh, by getting a gift here for your mother or your motherly figure uh, right here.